Basketball Starting Five Award and the best overall sports coverage in the Valley. Off the and in. Scoops it up and in. She's got it. Up and good. This is the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week, Thursday edition. Sponsored by Stadium GM on My YTV. Two of the area's premier girls basketball programs doing battle here tonight in a special presentation of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Tonight it is number six ranked Jackson Milton at 18 and one, paying a visit to 19 and one Columbiana. Hi again everybody, Chad Krispinski alongside Will Klusenik. Let's take a look at our keys to the game which are brought to you by Youngstown Phantoms Hockey. Handle the hectic pace, the Clippers love the press. And when you think of Columbiana, you're gonna get the pressure, you're gonna get them to take as many uh, possessions as they can, but they also wanna limit Terra Nova's touches. We saw her last week, Chad, she was fantastic. And what a great game for a tournament tune-up. The aforementioned Michalina Terranova is seven points shy of the Jackson Milton all-time scoring record as we take a look at the starting lineups as the opening tip is complete and we're underway here in Clipper Country. Glad you're with us here on this Thursday night ball in the hands of Terranova, our player of the game. Following the Blue Jays' win over Western Reserve last week, Abigail Spaulding with the ball. Outside to Terranova. Back to Spaulding on the right wing. She swings it back up to the top of the key. It's Lingle. Terranova in the corner. Thought about the three. Here is Emily Williams. And you like the patience right now of the Blue Jays, making sure they get the shot that they want. Picture perfect stroke from Emily Williams. Jackson Milton comes up with the first basket of the night. Clippers trying to answer into the hands of Tessa Liggett. The near side, it's Kennedy Fulham. Back out front to Kayla Maslovsky. Now Liggett. Here's Alexis Cross into the hands of Hall. Top side, Cross nearly shuffled the shoes. Here is Liggett. Onto the wing, it is Hall. Back to Fulham. And you can see right now, Chad, how, how important all of these possessions are, them taking the time. Great move by Cross, turn and finish. Alexis Cross, earlier this week, notched her 1,000th career point, and she ties the game up at two. Jackson Milton basketball. Terra Nova, left side, works it into the corner, Langle, but it's out of bounds, and the turnover will give it back to Columbiana. These two teams meeting for the first time in over two years. They last met on January 9th of 2016, and Columbiana came away with a six-point victory that night. Onto the wing, it is Tessa Liggett. Here's Kayla Maslovsky, one of the real young talents in the area. Maslovsky over to Taylor Hall now into the corner, Fulham. Columbiana, very deliberate, very patient. In the early going, it is Cross. And now Liggett as we're two minutes in to this quarter. Maslovsky cut off at that free throw line. Cross back up to Liggett, and here's Maslovsky. Dribble drive into the paint, back up to the top of the key. Fulham thought about the three, and now the Clippers will work it back outside as Cross feeds Hall, and now Maslovsky, they feed it into the paint. Cross into the corner. This is Hall for three. Off the rim, no good. Terranova with a rebound. Excellent rebound, too. Going up there, two hands, high pointing it, showing you she can lead the break as well. And this really does have that tournament atmosphere. Spalding knocks it in. It's 4 2 in favor of Jackson Milton. Here comes Columbiana back at the other end as we're just about three minutes in. Moslovsky at the top of the key. Dribble drive into the paint, puts it up, and she walked with the basketball back to the Blue Jays. And, and right now, Columbiana doing a nice job of moving the ball, getting some opportunities, getting some looks. They've, they've passed a couple up, but you can tell both teams right now understand the importance and just the, the tune-up, like we talked about earlier, for the tournament-type atmosphere and the teams that you're going to face you know, later on down the line. Michalina Terranova loses the handle, but it is poked free from her grasp, and she will hang on to it. Her team will, that is. 
And it'll be Jackson Milton basketball into the corner. Terra Nova firing for three, shot partially blocked, but it's cleaned up on the offensive glass and subsequently knocked out of bounds. Off the Clippers, it'll stay with Jackson Milton with 4.53 to play here in the opening quarter as Terra Nova penetrates to the free throw line. And it is back outside, ball taken away. Clippers want to run up the floor, cross. They feed it up to Maslovsky. Three ball in the air. She's got it. That's exactly how you diagram the transition. Cross does an excellent job of not penetrating too deep. Looks for the kickback. They get the wide open three. Columbia with a one point lead. This is Emily Williams. Williams looking towards the corner. Now back out front to Ashley Cameron. Now uh, into the hands of Terra Nova, slicing into the paint. Terra Nova puts it up off the rim, no good. Rebound knocked away. Clippers come up with it. Mazlovsky line lane, puts it up and in. And that's their forte, Chad. Get the rebound, get it out quick. You saw both players in the lane. Another run out, easy basket, 7-4, another turnover. Pass intercepted by Cross, knocked free by Jackson Milton. Ball is loose on the floor. Bodies diving every which way. Here is Terra Nova to the line, to the lane. Great look underneath, off the rim, no good. Cleaned up a second time. And a whistle and a foul as Grace McDivitt was crashing those boards, as was Ashley Cameron. So 3.46 left to play. And Cameron puts it up. And it is no good. So 7-4 is our score. Columbiana up by three. And the free throw is up and it is good. And with 3.46 left to play here in quarter number one, we will take time out and bring you back to the home of the Clippers. Following these words, you're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Team of the Week. Stadium GM is proud to sponsor the High School Basketball Game of the Week. Radiation exposure in children carries a lifetime risk of cancer. To fix heart rhythm problems, what we're doing here lets us use GPS for the heart instead of radiation. If it's your child and you have a choice of the same procedure, the same outcome, but no radiation exposure and no long-term cancer risk, it's an easy choice. Easily one of the best mascots in the entire area. I love it. Boy, mascots have come a long way, especially at the high school ranks. That looks like a college mascot. College mascot, and it looks rather light, too. That thing them zipping around through the gym. Aerodynamic. Great mascot and two great teams. What more could you ask for? 345 at 75. Columbia up by two. Chad Krispinski, Will Klusenik with you. Clippers out of the timeout with the basketball. It's Mazlovsky taking it baseline. And she stepped on that baseline. And it's a turnover that will allow Jackson Milton an opportunity to tie the ball game up. These two teams really play solid defense. Columbiana is an offensive juggernaut, to say the least. McDivitt, baseline jumper, no good. But the rebound comes down to Marissa McDonough. Here's Fulham over to Maslovsky, who penetrates and is cut off in the corner. Off the dribble, Fulham scoops it up. Off the glass, it won't go. Marissa McDonough crashing the boards. She comes down with it, and she draws the foul. She'll shoot two. And that's a, a, a possession that you see a lot from Columbiana. They, they're going to give you the shot, and you've got to knock a few down. But they do an excellent job of pushing the ball down the floor and then get those second chance points. Marissa McDonough, according to Columbiana head coach Ron Michella, says when we need a rebound, it's Marissa that gets it. She brings great height. 
She's been playing very, very well lately as the free throw is up. And it is good, increasing the lead to three. It's 8-5 in favor of Columbiana's. Michalina Terranova drops it up the floor. Terranova swings it over to McDevitt, who takes it baseline. Just inside that free throw line, Spalding puts it up. A little bit too strong. There is a whistle and a foul called against Jackson Milton. It'll be McDevitt picking up the personal. And that's a pretty good possession by the Blue Jays. They do a great job of moving the ball, finding the open player, just unable to capitalize, knock that short little jumper down. Second team foul called against Jackson Milton. McDonough gathers. Maslovsky thought about the three. Over to Taylor Hall. And now Maslovsky to Fulham at the free throw line. Fulham fights it up. Shot was blocked. Here comes Terranova. Racing ahead, Terranova to the line, to the lane, puts it up off the bottom of the rim, no good. Maslovsky gets out in a jiffy. Maslovsky cut off near the elbow, and now retreats with 2.15 left. Into the paint, Maslovsky works it to cross, and now Maslovsky. McDonough has it right at the free throw line to Fulham. Fulham, strong take, here's McDonough. Baseline shot, no good. Rebound McDevitt ahead to Terranova. Over the time stripe into the forecourt. It is Emily Williams. Williams feeds it up to the top of the key. And we have a jump ball called. And the possession arrow. See which way it's pointing. It's pointing the way of the Clippers. A quick whistle right there. Or have they there. already changed it? I think like they've changed it. And yep, there, yep. there it is. Columbiana basketball. Coach Michella, one of the deans of high school coaches in the area. No doubt. There aren't many better than him. Here's Fulham. Fake the jumper. Can't get it to go. Loose ball. Another jump ball. This time it'll go to the Blue Jays. Good tie-up by Haley Lingle. That's what you like to see. You know, when you get the turnover, you're able to get it right back. Good ball security there, not letting it go. 90 seconds left in the quarter. Michalina Terranova bounces it outside the three-point line to Lingle. There is Williams. The ball is smacked out of bounds by Fulham before it gets to Williams. And it'll stay with Jackson Milton. Blue Jays trailing it by three. And here is Michalina Terranova. Pass to the paint, underneath, off the glass, and it rattles up and in for Lingle. Just another example, Chad. Right spot, right time, but they make the correct read and easy pass to the teammate to get the easy bucket. Cross backing in. Outside, Mozlovsky. Mozlovsky reverses her tracks. Mozlovsky whips it over to Hall. There's Fulham standing on the three-point line. Off the dribble goes Hall, and now back outside. We're inside the final minute of this opening quarter. Maslovsky has her pocket picked. Donna retrieves it ahead of the pack. This is Nikolina Terranova who puts it up and in. And they're able to get the 9-8 lead. Terranova with the run out and the finish. 9-8, Jackson Milton by one. Cross, top side to Maslovsky. This is Fulham, cut off. Out to McDonough, and now Maslovsky. These are two really good defensive teams as we wind things down. Down to 15 seconds left in the quarter. Cross in traffic. Tights it up and won't go. Rebound down to Abigail Spalding of Jackson Milton. Terranova hands it back to Spalding. Spalding off the rim, no good. Cleaned up underneath. That one won't go. And with that, we have played one quarter of basketball here at Columbiana High School. It is 9-8 Jackson Milton on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Good luck to all area teams from Stadium GN, proud sponsor of the Game of the Week. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. 
Looking for that carefree retirement lifestyle you deserve? Villa Living at Copeland Oaks offers beautiful, maintenance-free homes at affordable monthly rental. Enjoy friendly folks in a quiet, safe neighborhood setting. These charming, unique homes offer many amenities, plus all the benefits of community living. Fall in love with retirement living at its very best. Visit us online or in person to experience the Copeland Oaks difference. Snow days were magical. You just were planning on what wonderful things you were going to do that day. It's a little bit different as a parent. The huge wrench that throws into your planning, we're pinpointing where those snow showers are happening and where those higher accumulations helps to watch in the evening and, of course, to tune in in the morning to see how conditions changed while you were sleeping. This winter, trust WYTV on air, online, and on your phone. Sponsored by Northern Ohio Honda Dealers, Dallas Hartman Attorneys at Law, and Grover Roofing and Siding. The world changes quickly, and the news that matters to you happens 24 hours a day, seven days a week. WYTV.com, your local news source, bringing you stories from across the Mahoning Valley. And with WYTV.com, all the information you need is in your hands no matter where you go. Your pinpoint forecast, that very latest news from across the community, and breaking stories, all in one place. WYTV.com, your home for community news. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. All set for the second quarter. It's been a good one to this point. Jackson Milton with a one-point lead on this Thursday night in a battle of two of the premier girls programs here in the area. There's a takeaway by Jackson Milton that's promptly stolen away by Maslowski. Off Columbiana, and Maslowski sticks it up and in. Maslowski, boy, does she have fantastic hands. Got the deflection. You know, always seems to be active and get no steals. Up to the top of the key. They feed it into the corner. Williams triggers, misses, rebound, Terranova. Terranova whips it into the corner, and now into the hands of Courtney Mercer. This is Spalding. You know, we saw that with the Jackson Mountain boys, which had that baseline shot's tough. You know, sometimes you like to see the player just move out a, a step, maybe get a little different vision, you know, and it's just not dead right on the baseline there. But if they're going to have to make some of those shots, so Columbiana will respect that. Terranova with the ball. Just about a minute in. With a Mercer inside the free throw line. McDevitt knocks it in. McDevitt flashes to the high post, right to the dotted line area and knocks it down back and forth we go 11 10 jackson milton by one onto the wing now back out front to muslovsky this is liggett to muslovsky 642 ball knocked away ball knocked out of bounds and it'll stay with the clippers who come in here averaging 70 points per game this season, Maslovsky is a major part of that. This is Cross. Back out to Maslovsky. And to Liggett. Backing in, it's Cross. And now Fulham has her pocket picked. Ahead of the pack. This is Terranova. And after all of that, the ball is out of bounds. The ball will belong to Jackson Milton. Out front. Ball in the hands of Courtney Mercer. Baseline jumper up off the rim, no good. Rebound tipped up into the air. And it's going to trickle out of bounds. Right now, again. Columbiana trying to pressure a little bit. You know, finding those dead spots in the zone. You know, sometimes you've got to penetrate with a purpose and not penetrate too far into that defense. But Columbiana really does a nice job of moving the ball, you know, with ball movement, player movement, and looking to attack those dead areas. Liggett on the wing. Out to Cross, who's cut off near the elbow. Fulham feeding McDonough. 530 left, lob in traffic. It's poked up into the air and picked up by Michalina Terranova, who needs five points to become Jackson Milton's all-time leading scorer. 
Here is Terranova from the wing. Takes it baseline. Terranova back out front. Now onto the wing. Three ball in the air. Up off the rim. No good. And the rebound comes down to Columbiana's Alexis Cross. Cross stutter step. Puts it off the glass. It won't go. But she's going to go to the free throw line and shoot two. That's pretty good defense by the Blue Jays. And with Spalding goes straight up, doesn't foul, you know, but as an official, it's very rare that you get that call. Eh, arms have been a little bit there. A pretty good job, though, trying to contest by Spalding. That is the third team foul called against Jackson Milton. Jackson Milton will bring back Haley Lingle and Ashley Cameron. Alexis Cross, who is at the free throw line at the moment. Town leader, 1,000th career points earlier this week. She can do a little bit of everything. Gets to the basket well, solid underneath. She can shoot the three and also looking pretty good at the free throw line there as well. It's 12-11 in favor of Columbiana. Can you shoot 81% from the free throw line, Chad? That helps. Not bad. Michalina Terranova, great feed underneath. But there's a takeaway. Clippers on the run in transition. Mazlovsky nearly walked. Here's Liggett firing and knocking it down. And there's Columbiana trying to turn up the heat a little bit, create some possessions, getting buckets in transition. 14-11, Columbiana by three. Terranova, wide open teammate underneath, and it's stuck back up and in by Cameron. Another assist for Terranova, and that's that court vision and IQ we talk about couple dribbles looks right up the floor great pass great shot take away by Jackson Milton Terra Nova bounce pass left side off the glass off the rim no good rebound comes down to Lingle who's harassed right near that sideline as the ball trickles out of bounds and it will belong to Jackson Milton what a physical play here tonight to this point anytime you turn your back to the floor, you start limiting your passes. You gotta make sure you square up. And there's another deflection. We talk about those hands. Great job. Kayla Maslovsky has been very impressive on the defensive side. Ron Michella says she really, really reads passes. When she's playing defense, she reads them very, very well. And we've seen evidence of that as Fulham has the ball. She's cut off left of the lane. Liggett. Now here is Maslovsky. Top of the key. Into the corner it is Fulham. Maslovsky over to Hall. Clean look. Puts it up. No good. Now the rebound comes down to Jackson Milton. Over the time stripe and into the forecourt. Mikulina to Terranova. There's a takeaway by Maslovsky. Who put it up and in. Her hands are so quick. So active. You know, with that crossover, you don't put anything down in front of her. 317 left to play. And with that, we will take a timeout. 317 left. 16-13 Columbiana, the WKBN High School Basketball. Game of the week. Buy your next vehicle at Stadium GM in Salem, where Zero Down delivers every day. Everything is marked down during the winter meltdown sale at the Stadium Used Car Superstore in Salem. We've got over 250 safe inspected vehicles with payments that won't start till May. We've got cars from $99 per month. Go in the snow pickups from just $159 a month. And specials like a Lord's Down built Chevy Cruze from only $9,900 or just $139 a month with Zero Down. And don't worry about credit problems. We can and will help you get financed. So hurry into the store that has just what you're looking for. The Stadium GM Used Car Superstore in Salem. Oh, yeah, let me get uh, one of them there, Daybreaks. Man, I need a nugget of knowledge. How long? Well, we're finishing up right now. Coming up at 610. Fresh and hot. But make room for me. I'm up in 10 minutes. You'll never believe where I'm going. Oh, you got it. Oh, we got a breaking news update coming up. Uh, weather in the threes. Big changes for the weekend. Update is up in five minutes. But up next is Daybreak Nation on location. Have a great day. Their morning is busy just like yours, but they love serving you every day starting at 5 a.m. Daybreak! Player that has made the greatest impact that is sponsored by Nightline Embroidery and Screen Printing and will feature the player of the game every Monday night on WKBN 27 First News. Chad Krasinski, Will Kusinek back with you. 
Two area girls powers squaring off on this Thursday night. Lengel feeds it inside the paint. Shot by Cameron, no good. Ball loose on the floor, taken away by Kayla Maslovsky. And she hit the deck. Some physical play here in this first half. And she's a little bit hobbled as she's helped to her feet. It'll be Clipper basketball. As we take a look at the replay, yep, rolled it right there. Rolled that right ankle a little bit, gonna try to walk it off here a little bit. Maslovsky, onto the wing, Tessa Liggett. Out front, Maslovsky to full up at the free throw line. It's tapped back out to the sophomore sensation. Free throw line cross into the corner, Fulham. Good ball fake. This is Hall slicing through. Off the dribble comes Liggett, who scoops it up and in. Nicely done. You said it, Chad. That's a, a pleasure to watch that type of offense. The ball movement, you know, able to swing the ball, get it reversed, and then the attack and finish by Liggett. Clippers come up with another takeaway. Liggett spinning in the paint. And she's with a double dribble. It was either a travel or a double dribble. Either way, it's a turnover that gives it back to the Blue Jays, who are trailing by five. And you can see Columbiana, they score in bunches. When they get that pressure rolling, you know, and, and you're not making good sound decisions, you get some of those, and there's another turnover. 2-12 left to play until halftime, 18-13. In favor of Columbiana. Moslovsky out front. On to the right side, Taylor Hall. This is Fulham. Fulham takes it baseline. Into the corner, Liggett. Top of the key, Cross. Alexis Cross picks up her dribble, swings it over to Liggett. Into the paint, Fulham in traffic, fights it up and in. And that's the Cardinal sin. You never let anybody flash in front of you. And Fulham did just that and made him pay. And you've got another turnover. 140 left to play in the second quarter. We talked about our key to the game. One of those, the first one handled the hectic pace. That pressure really getting to Jackson Milton in this first half. You know, and any time that they just continue that pressure, continue that pressure, you've got to be mentally and physically into the game all the time. But Terranova going to try to get a quick steal here. Terranova with a steal. Line, lane, jump stop, up, off the glass, and won't go. She cleans it up. Second try, won't go. Off the miss, cross, rebound, down the floor, Fulham, Fulham to the line, to the lane, and there's a whistle and a foul, and Fulham will head to the stripe and shoot two. That foul will be tagged to Haley Lingle of Jackson Milton. And Coach Michelle really likes, to, must love the aggressiveness, and, and it, they're very under control, but always looking to attack. Fourth team foul as Fulham puts the free throw in, and. Fulham is a 75% free throw shooter. Head coach Ron Michella told me yesterday, she's just a really, really solid asset to the team. He loves what she brings to the floor. He says she's playing very well right now, and we saw an example of that right there. And we have a Columbiana foul that time. On the reach, Tessa Liggett picks up the personal. Is at pressure a little bit too much that time. A little too much on the reach with the 2-2-1 influence pressure that time, and just mixing it up uh, and giving Jackson Milton a lot of different things to consider, trying to get the trap right there in the corner. Terranova's pass taken away by Liggett. Clippers want to run again. Cross ahead of the pack. Taylor Hall, shot blocked, and it's out of bounds. What a rejection underneath for Jackson Milton. But it'll stay with Columbiana with 57.7 seconds left. Here come the Clippers. Liggett to trigger. It is into Fulham. It is a 22-13 Columbiana lead. These two teams have posted a combined record of 37-2 coming in. Terranova with the steal for Jackson Milton. Up the floor comes Mercer. You want to talk about great hustle getting back for Columbiana. Alexis Cross did not give up on the play. And you'd like to see Cross with the back tap staying with it. We're going to see with 40 seconds, can Jackson Milton get a bucket you know, and stop this run that Columbiana's on right now. Ball in the hands of Nicolina Terranova. She's five points shy of 
Jackson Milton's all-time scoring record. She's had a quiet game scoring the ball to this point, but as we saw last week, she can do it in a hurry. Emily Williams for three, can't get it to go. Off the miss, rebound underneath by Cameron, and there is a jump ball called in the possession arrow. We'll keep it right here with 19 ticks left. Yeah, that's one of those situational things where you want the last shot. You, you're going to be able to get that shot anytime you want. You just got to make sure you get that last shot of the quarter and not give Clamina one more attempt here. Terranova, double team, picks up her dribble. McDevitt feeds it up to the top of the key. Nearly a walk. Yep, there's the whistle, and that turnover comes with 5.8 seconds left now. It changes the complexion and the feeling heading to the locker room. So Columbiana already up 22-13. Plenty of time to get a shot off here as the ball is into Taylor Hall, who slices into the paint. Hall has her pocket picked. Final seconds tick down. And with that, we have reached halftime in Clipper country. One half in the books. It is 22-13. Columbiana leading Jackson Milton in a battle of area girls' powers. When we come back... Our halftime festivities will get underway. We'll have halftime numbers and highlights and a whole lot more. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Shop 24-7 at StadiumGM.com where you can view the entire inventory. 33 WYTV News is new. Different from what you've seen from us before, we're more than just news. We are your news. These are your neighborhoods, and you deserve a news station that's out there in the community finding stories that matter to you. These are your schools, and you deserve to know that your children are getting the best education possible. And these are your jobs, and you deserve to know everything that could affect them. Local news from local people. We are your community news station. 33 WYTV. They're the classic American family with a twist. I raised a moron. I love you, Boopy. Oh, oh my no. God. Oh, my God. But they're the family yeah. you can't help but love. Family takes care of family. This is what we do. The Goldbergs. Feel the love every weeknight. I got you, baby. Oh, God, no, I don't. Weeknights at 6.30 on MyYTV. Helping our valley lead healthier lives. Join me, WYTV's Jim Loboy, at the Red Party Heartball, benefiting the American Heart Association. It's a night of dinner, dancing, and live entertainment. Saturday, February 24th at the Metroplex Expo Center. Get your tickets at youngstownheartball.heart.org. We'll celebrate lives like ours, touched by cardiovascular diseases and stroke. Be a part of the solution at the Red Party Heartball, February 24th. Celebrate one of TV's greatest hits. Hey, I'm in. With the funny, that really packs a punch. Whoever's right gets to slap the other person in the face as hard as they possibly can. And that's not a backhanded compliment. Oh. So get slap happy with the gang. It's already slap o'clock. <laughs> hey, hey, wow. But are you going to cry? You're going to cry. How I Met Your Mother. Weekdays at 4 on MyYTV. And welcome back to the home of the Columbiana Clippers. We're here at halftime. It's the home team, Columbiana, with a 22-13 lead over Jackson Milton in a matchup of two of the premier girls' programs here in the Valley. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krispinski alongside Will Klusenik. This one is good as advertised. Two really good defensive teams, especially. Yeah, a very clean game so far that half. But you saw there just a little bit in that second quarter, Columbiana started to exert themselves, and that pressure got to Jackson Milton just a little bit. Which brings us to revisiting of our keys to the game, which are brought to you by Youngstown Phantoms Hockey. The first key was handling that hectic pace. And again, that pace did get to Jackson yeah, Milton. That pace definitely got to Jackson Milton. You know, they, they limited Terra Nova's touches. She was a little bit unselfish there, but they also did get some good looks, Chad. And then finally with that tournament tune-up, it definitely has that feel. Both teams expect to make that deep run into the tournament. Michalina Terranova came into the ball game seven points shy of the all-time scoring record at Jackson Milton. She was held to just two points in the first half. It all adds up to a 
13 lead. Columbiana with the advantage over Jackson Milton. When we come back, we'll have those first half numbers and highlights. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. WYTV.com, your home for community news. February is Auto Show Bonus Cash Month at Diane Sauer Chevrolet with savings up to $1,000 on select models or lease an 18 Silverado 4x4 double cab with loyalty for only $222 a month with zero down in loyalty, an Equinox for $217 a month or a Trax LT for $172. Now is the best time to buy. Discover the Diane difference at Diane Sauer Chevrolet. The road to savings begins this way. Diane Sauer Chevrolet. Come to the Wrist Connection, one of the few distributors in the area of Mood Glow Jewelry. Commemorate your special day with this keepsake timepiece, because every moment has a moon. To make your Valentine's Day gift as special as the one you love, go to the Wrist Connection. A longtime member of Youngstown's fire department moves up the ranks. 33 News talks with the new chief about the big shoes he has to fill and his plans once he starts the job. And it's Student Athlete Day here on 33. Tonight we hear from Lakeview senior Annie Pavlansky, plus a huge day for the Cavaliers before the trade deadline. All the details coming up tonight in sports. And I'm tracking more snow just in time for your Friday morning commute. I'll have a breakdown of how much to expect. Anyway. On rules of engagement, there are relationship rules. Oh my God, what happened? I was hungry. I meant to my life. <laughs> Romance rules. They decided to give up the ladies for a bit. Well, that's bad news for anyone selling pepper spray. Marriage rules. Got you flowers. To get that. Could have just given you the 15 bucks, but you'd be insulted. Comedy rules. Is there smoking allowed in here? Is someone smoking? You are. <laughs> rules of engagement. Which base at 5:30 on My TV. On the next daybreak, heart attack or cardiac arrest? Is there a difference? We'll have a heart to heart. Clear away the confusion. And it turns warmer with a chance for snow, the chance for daybreak, 100% and mm -hmm. 5. And welcome back to Columbiana High School. We're here at halftime, that is Columbiana leading Jackson Milton 22 13 in a battle of truly two of the best girls programs in the entire area. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krispitsky alongside Will Klusnick. These two teams came in here with a combined record of 37-2. and two. They really know how to clamp down on things defensively. Both teams showed that in the first half. Yeah, defensively, uh, a low-scoring game, 22-13. to 13. But Jackson Milton coming out in the second half really is going to have to get Terra Nova some looks. She's going to have to get a lot more than that seven that she needed tonight in order for them to get back into this game. Of course, Michalina Terranova, we are on milestone watch here tonight as she was seven points shy of the program's all-time leading scoreboard as she came up with a steal and put that one up and in. But Terranova, again, will have to do a lot more in terms of scoring the basketball if Jackson Milton is to win. On the other side, a youngster, sophomore Kayla Maslovsky. She was especially impressive. She showed her defensive abilities in the first half. She really was. You know, just how active her hands are with the steal. And, you know, when you look at that, able to get some easy runouts like you see on the video right here. But great job by Columbiana of ratcheting up that pressure in that second quarter. Keep in mind, she is just a sophomore. And Columbiana head coach Ron Michella called Maslovsky the best player in the area. 22-13, Columbiana leading Jackson Milton. Third quarter action follows these words. You're watching the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Local news from local people. 33 WYTV. Lightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go. Lightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. 
Everything is marked down during the winter meltdown sale at the Stadium Used Car Superstore in Salem. We've got over 250 safe inspected vehicles with payments that won't start till May. We've got cars from $99 per month. Go in the snow pickups from just $159 a month. And specials like a Lord's Down built Chevy Cruze from only $9,900 or just $139 a month with zero down. And don't worry about credit problems. We can and will help you get financed. So hurry into the store that has just what you're looking for. The Stadium GM Used Car Superstore in Salem. Sir, you need to keep your hands where I can see them. America's favorite cops. Put your hands on your back. Are back on the street. Everybody in the car, hands on the roof. Put your hands up. Hands up, hands up right now. So hands up. Show your hands. For the reality series. Police, raise your hands. That started it all. We tell you to show us your hands, then you show us your hands. So put your hands up if you feel me. Cops, viewer discretion advised. Weekdays at 1 on MyYTV. I think any kid loves the fact that when there's snow, it's, oh, are, are we going to have school tomorrow? You know, as you become an adult, it's more of a concern for treacherous roadways. Black ice can be a concern. I need to help people be prepared. I need to make sure that they know when it's hitting, that they know how much to expect, and that they know the impacts on them. It can be dangerous. This winter, trust WYTV on air, online, and on your phone. Sponsored by Northern Ohio Honda Dealers, Dallas Hartman Attorneys at Law, and Grover Roofing and Siding. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. All set for the third quarter here at Columbiana High School. 22-13, Clippers leading the Blue Jays from Jackson Milton. Chad Prispinski, Will Klusenik back with you. Our statistician, Brian Wan. Up at the top of the key. Clippers have the ball. Maslovsky in the right wing. There is Tessa Liggett. Over to Maslovsky, who's been a force defensively and in transition. She has the ball on the right wing. Maslovsky cut off right of the lane. It's one thing about Ron Michella coach teams. They are very fundamentally sound. Cross for three off the back edge. No good. But the rebound comes down to Ashley Cameron. This is Michalina Terranova. Across the time stripe into the forecourt. Bounce pass to the top of the key. Spalding. And now Emily Williams back to Spalding. This is Lingle. And now back out to Terranova. You know, Chad Clubman really has done a nice job of limiting her opportunities. Has gotten a couple, but not many. Terranova, bounce pass into the corner. This is Cameron, out of the wing. Lingle for three. High off the rim, no good. Ball trickles out of bounds, and it will stay right here. Another opportunity for the Blue Jays to cut into this, you know, eight-point lead. Again, like I said at halftime, is going to have to get some good quality looks to get them back into this game. She's their leader. Terranova has the ball. Now out front. Back to Terranova. Facing up. Terranova trying to get an open look. She hasn't had many. Still with two points. There's another turnover ahead of the pack. Great speed, Maslovsky. Puts it up and in. And that's the run out we've seen all night from Maslovsky. Just going and looking to attack. You know, with Terranova, we talked about her demeanor. Sometimes you've got to be a little bit aggressive just like that to get yourself to the free throw line. And that's exactly what they need. Get some easy points. Terranova able to draw the contact and the foul. Foul is on Liggett of Columbiana. That's the first team foul. Terranova to the free throw line. Ready, aims, fires, good. She's a 78% free throw shooter. That is her third point. She now needs four more. And now three more to become Jackson Milton's all-time leading scorer. It is 24-15 in favor of Columbiana. Kayla Maslovsky up at the top of the key for the Clippers. Into the hands of Cross. Out front, Maslovsky. Cross is defended there by Lingle. Here's Fulham. Back out front, Maslovsky, Cross, McDonough. Left wing, three ball in the air. That's an air ball. And the ball is saved in by Jackson Milton. 
They're going to say it's off Columbiana. I beg your pardon. It will belong to Columbiana. And that's the right idea by Cameron. You know, when he, if you know it's going out of bounds, you, you want to make sure you try to save it. Almost try to dump it to that short corner. And there, you practice that where you're just throwing it, dropping it in the short corner, and everyone can converge on it. So not a bad idea, uh, but didn't get the results she needed. Kennedy, Fulham. Out front to Muzlovsky and back to Fulham. 24-15 underneath cross. All alone, pops it up and in. Court vision. Finds cross underneath. Muzlovsky, great pass. 11-point lead for Columbiana. Williams has it up front to Spalding. And there's a whistle and a foul called on Kayla Muzlovsky. And that will be the second team foul called against Columbiana. It's personal foul number one on Maslovsky. Terranova with the ball, penetrating underneath the basket, fights it up off the bottom of the backboard. It won't go. Rebound down to Liggett of Columbiana. Terranova is slow to get up as Liggett races ahead of the pack to Fulham. Into the corner, cross. Now Fulham. Cross penetrates into the paint. Fulham thought about the three. Now slices into the lane. Outside Liggett. Here's Muzlovsky. Back to Liggett. Fulham firing three ball. That one off the top of the backboard. And the rebound comes down to Jackson Milton. And it is saved in by Michalina Terranova. Still an 11-point Columbiana lead. Into the corner. This is Cameron. Pass intercepted by Maslovsky. Boy, is she a force on defense. In transition, she puts it up and won't go. Cross tried to follow it, but the ball is ripped free from her grasp off Jackson Milton, and it will belong to the Clippers. And those are the type of passes you can't have if you're Jackson Milton. You've got to be aware of where those defenders are, especially Maslovsky. She just does a great job and just anticipates so well. We're down to 427 left in the third quarter. Liggett has the ball into Cross. Cross, now Fulham. Skip pass, Liggett, now Maslovsky. Back to Liggett, underneath McDonough, who puts it up. Nope, she cleans it up on the offensive glass. That one won't go, it's out of bounds. And it will go back to Jackson Milton with 4.13 left in the third. So far this half, Jackson Milton really not able to, to get anything going. You know, just kind of passing the ball around the perimeter having to worry about this pressure and to see if they're going to be able to knock down maybe an open shot to get some momentum going. Jackson Milton basketball. There's a steal. Tessa Liggett ahead of the pack, taken away by Terranova. Terranova pushing it up the floor across the time stripe into the forecourt. Terranova feeds it over to Lingle. Jumper up off the back edge. No good. Kennedy Fulham comes up with the rebound for the Clippers. She races ahead of the pack and now swings it over to Cross, who thought about the three. Slicing through that defense, and there is a whistle. And we have a jump ball called. And with that, we will take timeout. 3.34 left to play in the third. It's an 11-point Columbiana lead on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Make the short drive to Stadium GM in Salem, Ohio to find your next vehicle. If you or a loved one need rapid relief from opioid withdrawals and cravings, get help now. Call Dr. Anil Naluri, MD, to learn about new treatment options. 330-783-1147. 330-783-1147. Hey, police! On the street. He says just putting the uniform on, you're a target. Police, don't move! Put your hands in the back of your head right now! In the courtroom. This ADA has a duty, a license, and the full support of the rule of law. At the helm. Sir Commissioner Francis X. Reagan. I'm asking you to help me find the truth. They are NYPD's finest family. You serve proudly. Blue Bloods. Saturdays at 11 on MyYTV. There's a new person in charge of Youngstown's fire department tonight at 11 on WYTV. How he hopes to improve the image of the city's firefighters. We'll have a little bit more snow before the work weekends. It comes just in time for your Friday morning commute. I'll show you how much to expect at 11. And welcome back to the home of the Columbiana Clippers. It's been a low-scoring affair, but an entertaining ball game, to say the least, as you look at Pat Kenny, the head coach of Jackson Milton. The Blue Jays have some work to do. 
trailing it by double digits, 26-15. Nicolina Terranova with the ball, three points shy of Jackson Milton's all-time scoring record. Grace McDevitt feeds it up to Terranova. Tracks down the ball, a bounce pass. It's a kick ball. That was a heck of a catch there by Terranova. Very athletic. And, and again, you're gonna have to be a little bit more aggressive here. Or, you know, Williams, we've seen her knock down a couple shots. And get some inside, you know, play where you get some second chance opportunities. Definitely have to be more aggressive. Ball in the hands of Emily Williams from the free throw line. Jumper up, no good. And Kennedy Fulham comes up with the rebound for Columbiana. Oh, what a one-handed pass. Right well, on the money. Knocked out of bounds. Boy, that was picture-perfect accuracy, but it's off the fingertips of Taylor Hall. And the ball will go back to Jackson Milton with 3.06 left to play in quarter number three. Terranova with the ball to Spalding. They swing it over to Williams, firing three ball up off the rim. It won't go, and the rebound to Liggett. Ahead to Maslovsky. Maslovsky to the line, to the lane, scoops it up. Off the glass, and in plus the foul. And she's been doing that all night, Chad. You know, they really look to get to the outlet areas and attack. What a game for Maslovsky tonight. You can see, trying to trap the rebounder a little bit. Probably not a good idea against these Clippers. You know, trying to read the defense, never stops her. Free throw, no good, and the rebound comes down off the miss to Michalina Terranova. The lead is 13 for Columbiana at the moment. Terranova slicing into the paint. She is tied up, nearly a jump ball. And now there's that whistle. And the possession arrow points the way of the Clippers. 237 left in the third. Back to Kayla Maslovsky and company. Maslovsky over to Hall on the right wing. To the top of the key, Maslovsky. And here is Fulham. Now Liggett in the corner, defended by Spalding. Out front to Fulham. 2.15 left. 13 point lead. Maslovsky penetrates, cut off at the free throw line. They have it over to Hall, into the paint. Fulham, strong take, that one too strong. And the rebound down to Emily Williams, who brings it across the time stripe and into the forecourt. They feed it near side in the corner, underneath, pinball basketball. Bodies fly in every which way. And we have an offensive foul called against Columbiana. You know, Coach Michelle is not going to like that call because they've been riding the play all the time. But you can see a little of the extension right there by the left arm, by Fulham. Anthony Spano comes from the weak side and makes the call. Ron Michelle and not happy with that whistle. 151 left to play. Terranova outside the three-point line, needing three. The school's all-time record ball out of bounds. And... It'll go right back to Columbiana. And there's that pressure from Columbiana. You get yourself stuck in the corner. And you get yourself into trouble. Right now, Columbiana controlling the pace. You know, creating easy opportunities. Fulham fights it up. It won't go. Off the miss. Rebound to Spalding. This is Michalina Terranova. Boy, she's such an unselfish player. The ball was kicked. Yep, they got to correct that ball one. Ball out of bounds, and the officials will get together yep. here. Yep. So it'll belong to Jackson Milton with about 22 left in the third period. Emily Williams looking, looking some more. And it is into Lingle. Baseline jumper for Terranova. And she's one point shy of the school's all-time scoring mark now. It's 28-17. 109 left. They feed it to Cross underneath. Cross puts it up. It won't go. Rebound down to Michalina Terranova. Closing in on the final minute of this third quarter. Terranova bouncing it into the corner to McDevitt. They give it to Williams, who triggers and hits. And that's what Jackson Melton needs. Just knock down a couple open ones build a little bit of that confidence it'd be huge for them you know if they can get one more possession and cut this lead just a little bit more 
but Clubman is so good at executing in these late game situations. 35 seconds left in the quarter. Maslovsky running some clock. It is 28-19 in favor of the Clippers as we're inching towards 20 seconds left. This is Taylor Hall, line, lane, puts it up, nope. Rebound, controlled by Hall, back to Fulham. Fulham into the paint, whistle, contact, and a foul called on Jackson Milton with 12.9 seconds left. And I think the foul is called on Williams, it is. And so that will be the second team foul as Fulham puts the free throw up and in. 29-19, back to a double-digit lead for the Clippers. Back to the bench goes Jackson Milton. It's Courtney Mercer in for Haley Lingle. And it's just a big psychological point here. If they can get this into single digits, you now if she makes the shot here at 11, can you get this to nine with 12.9 seconds? Off the inbounds, there's a steal underneath Hall, who puts it up and off the rim. Rebound to Jackson Milton. Emily Williams pass, picked off by Fulham. Three seconds now, two left. And with that, the third quarter is in the books. 30 to 19, Columbiana with an 11-point lead. Fourth quarter is next to the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Stadium GM only uses certified technicians and genuine replacement parts. Hi, everybody. Mm -hmm. I'm Dr. Strino. Did you bring your heart with you today? It's in here. It's in there? Breathe in, real deep. Wow. Let me listen to that tummy. <laughs> Let me check your hands, make sure they don't fall off. <laughs> oh, good. Girl, they need to fall out. Okay. How about a fist bump? Wow. <laughs> Thanks, guys. February is Auto Show Bonus Cash Month at Diane Sauer Chevrolet. With savings up to $1,000 on select models. Or lease an 18 Silverado 4x4 double cab with loyalty for only $222 a month. With zero down in loyalty, an Equinox for $217 a month, or a Trax LT for $172. Now is the best time to buy. Discover the Diane difference at Diane Sauer Chevrolet. The road to saving begins this way. Diane Sauer Chevrolet. Is he cute or am I just wearing horny goggles? Uh, you made the dean's list. Oh, honey, did you sleep with the dean? I didn't have to. I'm smart. Kids need space. Take it from me. Is that why I didn't see you my entire sophomore year? You're welcome. Mom, weeknights at 7.30 on MyYTV. 33 News is looking to celebrate the people who help make our community a better place to live. And we need your help to find people throughout the valley that are making a difference. So who is a hero? Maybe it's a teacher or a mentor or someone who's dedicated to helping animals. Go to WYTV.com and click on Hometown Heroes under Community to nominate someone deserving. See a different hometown hero every Wednesday at 6, only on 33 WYTV. Eight minutes to play here at Columbiana High School. Clippers with a 30 to 19 lead. A Clipper defense doing the job, forcing 17 turnovers as we welcome you back. Ball in the hands of Emily Williams, slicing through. Here is Spalding into the paint. Ball loose on the floor, still loose on the floor. Spalding puts it up off the back of the rim, no good. Second try by Spalding. It won't go. Rebound down to Liggett. Ahead of the pack, it's Muzlovsky for the Clippers. She's been a force all night to the line. Cut off left of the lane into the hands of Liggett. Now Fulham. 7.32 left. This is Hall. 11-point you know, right, lead. Right now, if you're Jackson Nutt, you're thinking at the four-minute mark, can we cut this to about five or six? You know, we've got to make some shots, get a stop here, you know, and, and build some of that confidence. But you're going to have to rely on them to miss some shots, and you got to get the rebound. And there's an opportunity here now, again, to just kind of cut that to five or six. Nicolina Terranova with the ball. She needs one for the all-time scoring mark. This is Emily Williams back to Terranova. Michalina Terranova 
Fires towards the elbow. There's a tie-up. It is a jump ball, and the possession arrow will send it the other way. And I'm trying to make the right read. Columbiana, nice defensively, and Coach Michelle wants to talk a little bit about it. 6.56 left to play in the ball game. We'll keep it here. It is 30 to 19 in favor of Columbiana. The stoppage of play gives us an opportunity to remind you that every week we'll pick the player of the game. One player that has made the greatest impact during the game. It is sponsored by Nightline Embroidery and Screen Printing. We'll feature the player of the game every Monday night on WKBN 27 First News. Chad Kruspinski, Will Klusenik back with you. Glad you're with us on this Thursday night. And right there, Two teams Chad. outstanding. Emily Williams, just very active. And another player who's able to knock down some big shots to get them back into this game. Going to try to change the pressure here a little bit, which is probably going to play into Columbiana's hands to try to pick up the pace a little bit and maybe get some more possessions. Kayla Mazlovsky breaks the press, brings it across the time stripe into the forecourt. Mazlovsky to the line, to the lane. It's knocked out of bounds by Nikolina Terranova, and it'll stay with Columbiana as we're down to 6.45 to play in the fourth quarter. You know, and that's the conundrum here for Jackson Melton. You know, you can't give up those. You've got to do a better job communicating, but you can't just sit back now because Columbiana is a little bit too well coached to make bad decisions. Foul is called on Haley Lingle. So we're even at three team fouls per side as Hall's free throw is up and it is good. Hall averaging eight points a game is a 65% free throw shooter and puts that one in. It's 32, 19 in favor of Columbiana. Blue Jays break the press and there's a trap. Ball is dribbled between the legs, taken away by Cross, ahead to Hall. Line, lane, puts it up short. The rebound down to Jackson Milton. Hall ends up with it once again, into the hands of Cross, in traffic, shot blocked. And after all of that, bodies flying every which way. <laughs> Nicolina Terranova with the ball. Cross court toss, picked up by Williams. Whistle, and a foul called on Tessa Liggett of Columbiana. You know, and you can believe that last time out that Coach Michelle had, you know, I can imagine he doesn't want Terranova to get that scoring record. But right now, you just got Columbiana. They're trying to ratchet it up defensively, and they really do an outstanding job of anticipating and understanding where they need to be. Terranova takes it baseline. Her pass into the paint taken away by Columbiana. Here's Kennedy Fulham ahead of the back to Taylor Hall. Ball out front to Maslovsky as we're two minutes in to this fourth quarter. Here is Fulham, cross, pass knocked free, but Fulham tracks it down for Ron Michella's Clippers. And Coach Michella will call a timeout. We will keep it here. With 5.53 left in this one. You know, and when you look at Coach Michella, you know, we always talk about, you know, the method to his madness. You know, and you talk to a lot of his players, you know, they, they really like what he does and, he, and you know that he cares for them. And I have to say this, our, our thoughts and prayers are with Coach Michella. He's coaching with a heavy heart here tonight, having lost his sister this week. And so our thoughts and prayers go to him. Certainly not an easy thing to, to coach in the midst of a sad time like that. But he still was as chipper and as outgoing and as happy uh, as always, when we met with them before the game. You know, Chad, no, that's, those are the things that always put basketball and sports into perspective. So five minutes and 53 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. It is 32 to 19. Columbiana coming into this one with the record of 19 and 1. Jackson Milton coming into this one with a record of 18 and 1. So it belongs to the Clippers and Kayla Mazlovsky. Once again, hard to believe she's just a sophomore. Looks like a much more polished player than such a youngster, but she's done it all night long. Here's Alexis Cross. Cross is cut off, lowers the shoulder, but the officials let them play on as Liggett. Gives to Maslovsky. 
Outside Hall into the paint. Back outside Fulham. Fulham feeding Cross, who penetrates, whips it back outside Liggett, who had an open look but elects to run some clock. Down to 5-17, and Ron Michella will call another timeout, but we'll keep it here with 5-17 left. You look at the score, Columbiana coming into this one is averaging 70.2 points a game. Jackson Milton averaging 56.7. But both teams defensively, you look at the Clippers, they're averaging 36 a contest. Jackson Milton giving up 31.2. You know, and again, that's probably got to say a little bit about Jackson Milton. You know, they, Columbiana, you know, trying to work in some different presses. But you've got Jackson Milton, who has a lot of capable scores. And really, they haven't had a lot of easy opportunities tonight. They've had to make some shots, and they just haven't been able to do that tonight. Taylor Hall outside to Cross. Cross gives to Muslovsky. And the Clippers trying to run some clock. Terra Nova trying for the steal, and she's in some pain as she kind of contorted that back in a way that it's not supposed to go. And Terra Nova is writhing in pain on the floor. A heck of an effort. And she is on her side. And you hope everything is okay with Nicolina Terranova. 5.03 left to play here in the ballgame. 32-19, and again, you hate to see this with her one point away from that career milestone. She's had a quiet night scoring the game. And we're going to be right back with you tomorrow night. We have boys action, and it is going to be some kind of an atmosphere tomorrow. We're going to Wyndham. We've never been there. It'll be Wyndham and Bristol. I'm told it's an atmosphere that will be through the roof, literally. We'll have it for you live at 7 o'clock right here on MyYTV. And we'll also stream it live at WKBN.com and the WKBN mobile app. So, Michalina Turnova is being helped to the Jackson Milton bench. And I don't know that we'll see her the rest of the night. Probably not. Probably not. Doesn't look uh, good. You, you never want to speculate in those type of, of situations. You know, but, you know, landed hard, took a knee, you know, in the back there. But uh, that's, that's definitely a tough break. So 5.03, we have another timeout taken. And I believe it's called by Ron Michella. As always, tonight's game is being streamed live at WKBN.com. Download the WKBN app to watch our games all season long. And you'll also find... High school scores, stories, and highlights. Make sure you do yourself a favor and download the WKBN mobile app today. You know, Chad, that's a great re resource for school closings as well. I'm taking a peek of that this week and possibly tomorrow as well. Yeah, Mother Nature has played some games recently, and I know that's much to the glee of all of students from throughout our viewing area. So five minutes and three seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. It is 32 to 19. Clippers leading Jackson Milton in a battle of two area powers. And if you're Jackson Milton, you've got to create possessions. And you've got to make Columbiana play faster than they want to. Uh, the problem is they're very disciplined. They're very organized. And they understand exactly what Coach Michella wants. So it's going to be difficult to get them to take unnecessary shots. Fulham leads it back out to Muslovsky. Hall, now Muslovsky. Down to 4.50 left to play. The Clippers are continuing to just let this clock tick on down. Ball knocked out of bounds. It'll stay here with the Clippers. You know, the Blue Jays are going to have to extend this a little bit to try to create something to get back into this. Fulham 
can't handle the hot potato. Ball is kicked out of bounds. And after all of that, it'll go back to Jackson Milton with 438 left. I loved Cross's face on that. Hey, what do you want me to do, coach? I'll get the steal. Pass picked off by Cross. Poked free from behind. Out of bounds, it'll stay here. She's having a blast out there. That is outstanding. <laughs> Ball is into Maslovsky. Back up front, Fulham. And now Liggett. Out of traffic is Maslovsky. Boy, they have such great court awareness, great patience. There's never any getting nervous with the ball in certain situations as Fulham feeds it back out to Hall. And just the discipline. You know, and, and you got to extend it here. You're going to have to take some gambles. Uh, you know, because they're doing a great job of just moving the ball. They're not going to take the unnecessary shot. Just going to move it around, let this clock wind down, and, and try to get themselves out of here. It remains 32-19. Fulham penetrates into the paint outside to cross, and she didn't take the open look. And again, no need to force anything, no need to rush anything if you're Ron Michelle's team is Fulham. Takes it to the rock strong and puts it in. That's a textbook basketball play and execution. Ball is knocked towards the baseline, and now it is out of bounds. And with 3.22 left to play here in the ball game, we take timeout. 34-19, Columbiana leading Jackson Milton. And we'll bring you back to Clipper Country after this on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Apply now for a no-obligation car loan at StadiumGM.com. Everything is marked down during the winter meltdown sale at the Stadium Used Car Superstore in Salem. We've got over 250 safe inspected vehicles with payments that won't start till May. We've got cars from $99 per month. Go in the snow pickups from just $159 a month. And specials like a Lord's Down built Chevy Cruze from only $9,900 or just $139 a month with zero down. And don't worry about credit problems. We can and will help you get financed. So hurry into the store that has just what you're looking for. The Stadium GM Used Car Superstore in Salem. The world changes quickly, and the news that matters to you happens 24 hours a day, seven days a week. WYTV.com, your local news source, bringing you stories from across the Mahoning Valley. And with WYTV.com, all the information you need is in your hands no matter where you go. Your pinpoint forecast, the very latest news from across the community, and breaking stories all in one place. WYTV.com, your home for community news. 322 left to play here in the ball game. It's Columbia 34, Jackson Milton 19. As we welcome you back, Chad Prospinski, Will Klusenik with you on this Thursday night here in the Valley. Jackson Milton came into this one, ranked number six in the latest Associated Press State Poll. By the way, you can see that poll at WKBN.com. Blue Jays trying to scratch and claw their way back into the ball game. It's out of bounds, but off Columbiana with 310 left. Columbiana always looking to deflect, get hands on the balls, making it difficult for you to make it and making it easy. That one's short off the miss. Liggett with the rebound for Columbiana. Liggett tied up. And there is a whistle and a Jackson Milton foul. Two Blake Blue Jays in the vicinity. It's just a matter of who the foul is called on. It will be on Emily Williams. And that's another way to do it, to create some possessions. I mean, you've got fouls to give. Both teams have four, and that's Williams' third. So, again, you've got to create possessions any way that you can if you're Jackson Milton. Four team fouls per side. Cross tracks down the ball in traffic, and then it is ripped free from her grasp by Abigail Spaulding of Jackson Milton. And that's one of those situations where you don't want to use the defender as another uh, obstacle if you're, you're Columbiana. Mazlowski out of traffic now. It's just a matter of playing some keep away and get out of here healthy with win number 20. Aaron pass, and that's not what Ron Michella wanted. As you look at Coach Michella down there, you know, and if you look at it, just that little movement by Spalding trying to race out there, 
was enough to distract Hall with that pass, but she gets it right back. Great job. Hall with a takeaway. Hall puts it up and in. And that's what you like to see. When you do something, you make the mistake, you're able to just fight through it, fight through the adversity, and make the play. 36-19 is our score. Lingle whips it across. McDevitt, shot blocked by Fulham. Fulham does a great job of getting the block and not getting in the body. Fulham's just a, an athlete. You can tell with her gritty style of play. Lingle has it in the paint, missing. Fulham with the rebound. She'll take it herself. Fires that one up. It's off Jackson Milton. Fulham picks it up. Here's Mazlovsky. And now Liggett will control as we're down to two minutes left. In the fourth quarter, it's 36-19. Columbiana has this one under control. Hall. And we have a whistle and a timeout called by Ron Moschella. A reminder coming up after the ball game, we will visit with our player of the game. And we'll also spend some time with the winning coach, which at this point, unless something changes dramatically, will be Coach Michella. And he told us before the ball game, he wanted to know where the cameras were going to be located because he said, I want to be on the screen 80% of the time during this game. He said that, so it'll be interesting to see his thoughts after the game. Well, you he, always love catching up with Coach Michelle. You do, and I'll tell you what, he's actually behaved tonight pretty well uh, on the sidelines. Uh, you know, he can get quite animated, but you could tell the discipline, the execution, and understanding that his girls have. He does an absolutely fantastic job. You'd be hard-pressed to find a more animated coach <laughs> than Coach Michelle, but sometimes it's misconstrued. He really wants nothing but the best for his players. And if you talk to anybody who's played for him in the past, they'll tell you just that. Uh, absolutely. Fulham, as it knocked free from her grasp, it's bouncing around. Liggett controls. It's tracked down by Maslovsky and taken away by Emily Williams. But Maslovsky does not give up on the play. In fact, she turned on the speed burners and poked it away and out of bounds. That's hustle. She really has had a fantastic game. Just doesn't quit, gets the back tap, stays with it. That's the type of hustle you love to see. And you got a foul there on Columbiana. And that's going to be on Cross, and that's going to be her first. So five Clipper team fouls as... Free throw is no good for Ashley Cameron. Cameron, rebounding is the key to her game. There's a lot of scoring off the offensive glass, but she missed a couple of free throws there. As the ball is tapped out of bounds. Again, Coach Michelle talking about uh, probably good decision right there, just wrong type of pass. You can't throw the lob from, from the hip there. Ball is fired in to Kennedy Fulham. So we're inside of 90 seconds left. That one's intercepted, picked off by Mercer. Mercer stops, nearly walked, but managed to keep that foot planted and stuck it in. Well, that was interesting. And I'm gonna do a nice job of not fouling. There's another takeaway. Mercer to the line, to the lane, gathers, feeds it underneath. And it's Williams who puts it up and in. This will be interesting here. Coach Michelle, you let it play out, let the run play out. Now see if they can gather themselves. This might help you a little bit down the line where you're not calling a timeout and wasting one because you always like to see if players are self-aware, can adjust to the tempo of the game and, and gather themselves, and, and they have right here. Down to the final 40 seconds. Jackson Milton is not going to foul. It's a 13-point lead. Cross with a ball. And the ball will trickle into the corner. Now back out front to Maslovsky. And appropriately enough, looks like Maslovsky will get a chance to dribble it out. Give it to Liggett. And the final five seconds will tick on down. And the final score in this one here tonight, Columbiana 36. Jackson Milton, 23. It's win number 20 
for the Columbiana Clippers. When we come back, we will visit with our player of the game, two of the premier players here in the Valley, two of the premier teams in the Valley facing off. Columbiana getting the better end, 36-23. Back after this, you're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Stadium GM is proud to sponsor the high school basketball game of the week. Windsor House offers comprehensive rehabilitation and customized physical therapy plans designed for me, for me, for you. Learn more about Windsor House short-term rehabilitation at WindsorHouseInc.com. You took my father. Somebody's going to pay for this. There's no crime more chilling, heartless, no secret more revealing. Oh, my Lord. No story more surprising than a real-life Dateline mystery. Probably a pretty ugly crime scene. Yeah, it was particularly gruesome. This fall, follow every twist and turn five times a week. The chase is on. With Dateline. Weeknights at 10 on MyYTV. Is he cute or am I just wearing horny goggles? Goggles. You made the team's list. Oh, honey, did you sleep with the dean? I didn't have to. I'm smart. Kids need space. Take it from me. Is that why I didn't see you my entire sophomore year? You're welcome. Mom, weeknights at 7.30 on MyYTV. With five assisted living communities in Mahoning and Trumbull counties, Windsor House provides a tradition of caring while promoting independent lifestyles. Learn more about Windsor House assisted living communities at WindsorHouseInc.com. Is he cute or am I just wearing horny goggles? Goggles. You made the team's list. Oh, honey, did you sleep with the dean? I didn't have to. I'm smart. Kids need space. Take it from me. Is that why I didn't see you my entire sophomore year? You're welcome. Mom, weeknights at 7.30 on MyYTV. And welcome back to Clipper Country. Columbiana picking up win number 20 of the season. Clippers get it 36-23 with an impressive win over Jackson Milton. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krasinski, so pleased to be joined by our player of the game. She's just a sophomore, but really impressed us here tonight. Kayla Maslovsky, 13 points to go along with four steals and some hustle that we can't really even talk about in terms of numbers. You really left it all out there. First of all, congratulations on the win. Thank to you. get a big win against a team like Jackson Milton, who's ranked in the state, how does it feel? I mean, it feels amazing. It was a great accomplishment for us. Obviously, your defense is what this team hangs its hat on. That press that you bring, Coach Michelle emphasizes it, whether it's the full court press, a three quarters court, or just in the half court trapping and those types of things. What is it about this team that has allowed you guys to have so much success this season? I mean, our team constantly gives it their all 100% every time, and they always have each other's backs, and that's really what gets us where we're at. You pick up a 20th win now. You've scored 80 points, I think it's six times so far this season, but this was a low-scoring affair. This team here, do you have a, a special feel for what you guys are going to be able to accomplish? And, and what is it about this team? I mean, it's our captains. They do a great job of bringing us all together and just bonding us and making sure we're on the right track and focused on the right things. Facing a team like Jackson Milton, this is kind of like a, a tune-up for the tournament, which is just a few short weeks away. How does a game like this help you get ready for breaking out those brackets and tournament play, which is a whole different level of basketball. Yeah, I mean, it gave us a great experience of what we're going to see in an aggressive game. It helped us a lot. I can't let you go without asking you about your performance and, and what you've been able to do. Coach Michella told me yesterday, he thinks even though you're a sophomore, that you're the best player in the entire area. What is it about your game? What is it that you do that allows you to have so much success and you're just a sophomore? Um, I don't know. I just... Give it my all, focus on what coach tells me to focus on and just work on everything. Well, congratulations on the win. Best of luck moving forward, and we wish you all the best. Thank you. That is our player of the game, Kayla Maslovsky. 13 points, four steals. Columbiana with a victory, 36-23. When we come back, we'll visit with the victorious head coach, Ron Michella. 
You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Good luck to all area teams from Stadium GM, proud sponsor of the Game of the Week. Lightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Lightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. A longtime member of Youngstown's Fire Department moves up the ranks. 33 News talks with the new chief about the big shoes he has to fill and his plans once he starts the job. And it's Student Athlete Day here on 33. Tonight we hear from Lakeview senior Annie Pavlansky, plus a huge day for the Cavaliers before the trade deadline. All the details coming up tonight in sports. And I'm tracking more snow just in time for your Friday morning commute. I'll have a breakdown of how much to expect at the Celebrate one of TV's greatest hits. Hey, I'm in. With the funny, that really packs a punch. Whoever's right gets to slap the other person in the face as hard as they possibly can. <laughs> and that's not a backhanded compliment. Oh. She'll get slap happy with the gang. It's already slap o'clock. Hey, hey, hold up. Whoa, wait, wait. Wow. <laughs> but, are you going to cry? You're going to cry. How I Met Your Mother. Weekdays at 4 on MyYTV. Helping our Valley lead healthier lives. Join me, WYTV's Jim Loboy, at the Red Party Heartball, benefiting the American Heart Association. It's a night of dinner, dancing, and live entertainment. Saturday, February 24th at the Metroplex Expo Center. Get your tickets at youngstownheartball.heart.org. We'll celebrate lives like ours, touched by cardiovascular diseases and stroke. Be a part of the solution at the Red Party Heartball, February 24th. Lightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Lightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. And welcome back to the home of the Columbiana Clippers. Where Ron Michelle's Columbiana group comes away with a 36-23 victory over state-ranked Jackson Milton. Hi again, everybody. Chad Kraspinski. So pleased to be joined by legendary veteran coach Ron Michella. Coach, first of all, congratulations. Thank you. On the victory here tonight. What Thanks. was the secret in the end? I think, well, we, you know, we, uh, we had a pretty substantial lead, and we held the ball, and we didn't want to take unnecessary shots. We did shoot a three, and, well, I called a timeout really quick. <laughs> we, we wanted to go off the glass, and we wanted to get fouled. That's our forte. We're quick, we handle the ball, except a couple possessions. But, you know, I thought our kids played great defense. Jackson Milton has a, a you know, they're a good team. I, and, and I give, take my hat off to them, but I have to take my hat off to my team. They played great, great defense against some really great players. And you look at this Jackson Milton team as tournament time is right around the corner. How much does a game like this against a team, the caliber of Jackson Milton, state rank, help your group? as you move along and break those brackets out. Yeah, some of the games we've had haven't been uh, the toughest. But playing Jackson Milton today really, really helped us. And, and playing McDonald the other day, that helped us a lot too. So it's making them understand how to win close games and uh, to be competitive and to, and to listen to the coach at timeouts. And they did that today. They were pretty focused on 20, the game. 20 wins for your group now yeah. as you move along. You've been coaching a long time. What do you love about this particular group this season? Uh, I love that they want to be good. Uh, they don't miss practice. They come and have fun when, when I want to have fun. They, everything comes off of me in that sense. <laughs> if we're going to have fun, they know it. If we, we mean business, they know that too. But they're hardworking kids. Um, sometimes they play over the level of their skills. And I'm really impressed with that. But, I was really proud of every one of my kids that took the floor today. Do you have a good feel for what this group's going to be able to accomplish come tournament time? Well, I know we have to, if we eventually end up playing Salem, they're a lot longer than we are. And uh, even Jackson Milton is longer than we are. And I know if we beat Salem, we got to play South Range. And they're just not long. They're huge. So it depends on how we play defense. We have to play that really helter-skelter kind of defense and getting people's faces. And today I was surprised that we really did a nice job 
in the beginning I was playing back, you know, having the girls play back. And I saw that, you know, they had some trouble with our press. So we went out and really pressed them. Well, Coach, congratulations on another huge win. Thank win you. number 20. We wish you all the best moving forward. Thanks for covering girls basketball. I really appreciate it. Absolutely, Coach. Thank you. That's the head coach of the Columbiana Clippers, Ron Michella. Columbiana with a 36-23 win over Jackson Milton. We'll wrap it up when we come back on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Buy your next vehicle at Stadium GM in Salem, where Zero Down delivers every day. Classic American family with a twist. I raised a moron. I love you, Boopy. Oh, oh my no. god. Oh my god. But they're the family yeah. you can't help but love. Family takes care of family. This is what we do. The Goldbergs feel the love every weeknight. I got you, baby. Oh god, no, I don't. Weeknights at 6:30 on my YTV. Is he cute, or am I just wearing horny goggles? Uh -oh. You made the dean's list. Oh, honey, did you sleep with the dean? I didn't have to. I'm smart. Kids need space. Take it from me. Is that why I didn't see you my entire sophomore year? You're welcome. Mom, weeknights at 7.30 on my YTV. Uh, one of them near daybreaks. Lana, I need a nugget of knowledge. How long? Well, we're finishing up right now. Coming up at 610. Fresh and on. But That's make room for me. I'm up in 10 minutes. You'll never believe where I'm going. Oh, you got it. Oh, we got a breaking news update coming up. Uh, weather in the threes. Big changes for the weekend. Update is up in five minutes. But up next in Daybreak Nation on location. Have a great day. Their morning is busy just like yours, but they love serving you every day starting at 5 a.m. Daybreak! And welcome back to Columbiana High School, where the Clippers came away with a 36-23 victory over the Blue Jays from Jackson Milton. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krispinski back alongside Will Klusenik. And again, two of the best teams in the area on the girls' side. And we saw some good basketball, especially some very good defensive basketball. Yeah, and I think that's the difference of the game, Chad, with Columbiana. You know, their pressure, Mozlowski able to get those steals, get the runouts. You know, if you would have told me at the beginning of the game that Terranova wouldn't get her seven points, uh, I, I'd be really surprised. But, and again, hopefully she's okay going forward, but you gotta give Columbia a lot of credit. Of course, Terra Nova came in seven points shy of the school's all-time scoring record, but wasn't able to get there. She finished with six points here tonight. As we take a look at our final box score and we see that Kayla Maslovsky was the big gun in terms of scoring the basketball, 13 points. But a very balanced attack from Columbiana. It's not just one focal point, one player that does all the damage. All of them collectively play with great efforts. Absolutely, and you could see the balance in scores. Again, Terranova did a lot of things, you know, just not able to get the points she needed tonight. But I think that had a lot to do with Columbiana tonight. Columbiana now improves to 20 and 1. Jackson Milton drops to 18 and 2. So we hope you've enjoyed this special Thursday night presentation of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. We'll be back with you tomorrow night at Wyndham High School. It'll be Wyndham and Bristol. We'll be on the air at 7 o'clock for our Friday night WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week for my broadcast, broadcast partner, Will Klusenik. My name is Chad Krispinski telling you once again the final score, Columbiana 36, Jackson Milton 23. Till next time, so long everybody from Columbiana.